As trade talks continue between the U.S. and China, the trade show must go on. True Value holding its biannual hardware home and garden vendor trade show in Dallas as more than 460 home improvement hardware and garden products could see tariffs increase from 10 to 25 percent on or around March 1st. And it's on top of steel, aluminum and other tariffs instituted last year. In the first two waves of tariffs, so list one and list two, were, you know, they were very nominal impact to our business. Um, list three, however, that hit in September was a, was, a, was a bigger grouping of products. Americans spend $10 billion a year on the home improvement products subject to tariffs. A tariff of 25% could add $2.5 billion to the cost. Rust-Oleum is the world's biggest manufacturer of spray paint. The company is already facing rising freight and labor costs. And tariffs on steel cans and some raw materials are adding to cost woes. We do a lot internally as a company first to make sure we don't have to give a price increase. And then when we, when we just push to the wall and every, we've done everything we can, then we go out with a price increase. Only the fifth price increase in two decades and the first as a result of tariffs. Voorhees says there was initial margin pain, but the price increase helped profitability recover. In a letter to the U.S. Trade Representative, the Sun Joe Snow Joe CEO says tariffs could make its products, including pressure washers, leaf blowers, and hoses, quote, substantially more expensive for consumers. Courtney's live in Dallas now. It's definitely not the first sector I'd think of, uh, so it's interesting to hear. Is there anyone, Court, who would be less impacted if these tariffs do go up? Yeah. That's a great question, Kelly. A company like Scott's miracle Grow. we spoke to them, and they actually do a lot of manufacturing of their products right here in the U.S., so they're a little bit less affected. And they did get a little lucky because there's this one insect killer that they make, the container that they make and the pesticide itself made in the U.S., but there's a battery-operated sprayer wand that's attached to it. That was subject to tariffs, but it got an exception because it's counted as an agricultural product. Back over to you, the Kelly. battery operated sprayer wand. Uh, this is, I have to say, I'm learning more and more. I'm paying more and more attention, <laughs> right, to all the things around me, how they got here, how they're made. Uh, the companies may, uh, that may be right. irritating, but it's a, an educational campaign.